Thomas Weather. The Rich Thomas Weather Network, brought to you by these fine sponsors. Hear Rich's forecast hourly on these Blue Water Broadcasting radio stations. Hey, good morning, everybody. On this Monday morning, it's already the 26th day of August. Rich here at uh, 343 in the morning. How did you do on the rainfall over the weekend? Some places got a lot, some places not as much. For instance, the Montgomery Airport had 2.51 inches of rain yesterday evening, broke the all-time August 25th record, two and a half inches of rain for heaven's sakes. Uh, some towns uh, didn't do quite as well, but uh, uh, today may be your day because the rain chances are looking very good today and tomorrow again. We do have a frontal system on the way which may deliver briefly some nicer air uh, for at least a couple of days by late week. More on that in coming up in a minute. We'll look at the Labor Day weekend forecast and off the, the U.S. coastline, we have Invest 98L, which could become a tropical depression today. And Tropical Storm Dorian's future track needs to be monitored. We're going to watch that one carefully. Lots of tropical moisture moving northward from the Gulf, interacting with a frontal system still stuck over the state. That's going to set the stage. Very good chance of showers and thunderstorms uh, with uh, just all kinds of copious amounts of tropical moisture available. And you can see how future radar uh, works uh, the showers and storms across the state today and in through eastern Alabama later on this evening. So I've got the showers and storm threat high today. The storms will be slow movers, some lo locally heavy downpours, maybe some street flooding in places. 85 the high, 73 the low tonight, an easterly breeze. And tomorrow, showers and thunderstorms will be widespread again. There's a frontal system approaching. You see it around the Memphis area tomorrow. And then by Wednesday morning into north central Alabama, heading on southward, we could have some showers and storms early in the day. But I think the better rain chances later in the day on Wednesday will be down in south Alabama as things start to dry out in north Alabama. And we get a little break in the action. I think by Thursday morning, low temperatures could easily be in the, uh, let's say, mid to upper 60s, which would be a nice break with lower humidity. So, uh, you know, for a couple of days, we'll have less humidity and uh, some more comfortable temperatures. It won't last long because I think as we get closer towards the uh, Labor Day weekend, the moisture will start to come back. I've got us dry on Friday, but mostly sunny. And I think some of those lower dew points will start to creep away. Notice the uh, 70 degree dew points and higher, mid 70s is starting to creep back into the area as we get to Friday and into the L Labor Day weekend. And there's business as usual on Saturday, just a regular summertime situation, showers and thunderstorms. The um, European uh, takes what is could be left of Dorian uh, towards the Florida coast on Sunday. We'll see if that uh, materializes with showers and thunderstorms continuing in our forecast right on through the Labor Day weekend here and there. Won't be a washout, but uh, the, the showers and the humidity will be a big deal. 60% chance of showers and storms on Tuesday. We'll leave in a small chance on Wednesday, especially early in the day before things dry out. Then no rain in the forecast on Thursday and Friday. But the showers return, and so does all the humidity on Saturday, Sunday, and Labor Day Monday. Tropical Storm Dorian, here's the latest from the National Hurricane Center, uh, is uh, could become a hurricane perhaps uh, somewhere near Puerto Rico or uh, Dominican Republic before it has an interaction with the island, which will uh, perhaps weaken it to a depression as it gets into the Bahamas later in the week. We're going to have to watch the future track because, as you can see, once it gets into the Bahamas, it could have an interaction with Florida, maybe into the Gulf of Mexico. This is uh, some of the model tracks, some of the spaghetti models. You see the GFS ensembles some of the models taking it even into the gulf of mexico so we'll watch the future of dorian if it can survive meanwhile off the u.s coastline we still have invest 98l the system will stay off the southeastern u.s coast has an 80 percent chance of becoming maybe a depression later on today air force reconnaissance is scheduled to check it out uh, later on and uh, report back and see if this system it will develop uh, off the southeast coast Interesting weather week. So we've got the possible downpours today and tomorrow, the frontal system that could bring some nicer air, Labor Day weekend forecast, and everything that's going on in the tropics will stay on top of it. It's starting to rain as I make this here. We're live on the radio this morning, 6 to 9 on News Talk 93.1 with Greg, Jay, Emily, uh, Ryan Stinnett, and I talk weather this morning on TV and much to talk about on CBS 8 and ABC 32. Join me at 5.50 a.m. Now it's starting to rain really hard, so I'm going to stop talking. I'll see you later. Baby, come on in.